Next up is a way to look stylish while staying comfortable. I gotta tell you, man, you're, you're a funny dude. No, oh, thank you. Hi, Sharks. My name's Gary Falkenberg. I'm Dan Tran. We are from Long Beach, California. And we are... Buttercloths. Sharks, we're seeking $250,000 for 10% interest in our company. Listen, I always hate it when a dress shirt. They are stiff, they are scratchy. That's why I invented Buttercloth. The shirt that makes you feel like you are wearing your favorite T-shirt, but still look like you are fully employed. Buttercloth's <laughs> a unique fabric made of 100% natural, sustainable, long fiber cotton. But don't take my word for it. Let's bring in our long fiber in-house scientist, Meta World Peace. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my oh, goodness. There goes the neighborhood. Oh my goodness. What's up, Sharks? <laughs> How are you, Sharks, doing? It's so good to be here as your in house buttercloth long fiber cotton scientist. It's my job to ensure that every shirt maintains its six way stretch and breathability. Watch this. Okay, here we go. It's only my Gemma. He used to call me Shaq and the whiskey. <laughs> so now. It wasn't like yours. <laughs> but not every day you can see a dunk like that in a shirt like this. Another <laughs> cloth feels like you're wrapped in a hammock in the Caribbean under a palm tree, but looks like you're giving a keynote at NASA. Let's put it this way. When you are wearing buttercloth shirts, anything is possible. Here Let's we go. do it. Run this way. Ready? Go. Ah! Ah! Here we go. <laughs> now, who would like to join the team and make the world a softer place to live? Hey, sharks. You gotta feel it to believe it. Give me one second. You have a very good model. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And this is for you, and this is in order. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank oh, you it feels much. so nice. Very yeah. soft. Yeah. 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 Oh, Thank it's like you. a cotton shirt. Perfect for you, big fella. All right, appreciate it. Nice job. Uh, it's 100% cotton. 100% cotton. <laughs> Guys, you're a very eclectic looking group. What's the <laughs> <story? laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> How did you come together? Want me to start? Yeah. Okay, I'll ahead. start. So I have a background in uh, college. I majored in math. Obviously, I went to the MBA, but I'm very into marketing because I only want to get involved in things I can market, you know? And when I put the shirt on, I was like, wow, it's perfect. It's right up my alley. It's athletic. I can, I can run and play basketball in it, and the sweat <laughs> goes away, and it's, it doesn't wrinkle. And um, I'm like, I want to be involved. And Dan, how did you meet Gary? I had another friend of mine who's actually the COO of Buttercloth now, uh, Bob. And Bob had asked me to come out and help him with some of his sales and marketing. I watched this guy closely. Dan is the most dedicated, unbelievably remarkable person I've ever met in my life. Dan, tell us your story. I grew up in Vietnam. My mom, my dad run the um, tailor shop in Vietnam. And when I was 10, I uh, make my own clothes. My mom pulled me aside, say, fashion business is very, very poor career. I want you to be a lawyer or a doctor. But my dream is want to come to America to be a fashion designer. So I have a big decision to make. Whether I make my parents happy or follow my heart. So I decided to apply for a fashion school, which is oldest. It cost $120,000. Wow. Unfortunately, uh. I can't afford it. And my first job in fashion business was working for Mattel, making clothes for Barbie dolls. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> making that. And then I worked there for five years, learned a lot, saved every dollar, and then I applied for oldest. And I finally, I get my BA degree in fashion. I'm very lucky to work with Affliction Clothing. I was a head designer for them for 10 years. So you're the real deal. I'm the real deal. Hey, so let me ask you a question. This feels amazing. Thank you. So how much is this shirt? It's uh, cost from 98 to 118. And where are you selling them? We strictly one, online right yeah. now. Only online, and what's it cost you to make one? Costs are from between $20 to $25. And that is landed. How much have you sold? Seven months, we do over $500,000 in sale. Wow. Wow. Good for you. How are you reaching the public? 
uh, right now, strictly everything online for through now. either but Facebook, now, Facebook, people find Facebook or we, Instagram. Are you we, buying those ads? We, we, we have a digital marketing company. Mm -hmm. How much money have you spent running the company since November? Uh, I invest in the company so far is $240,000 with my own money. I uh, quit my job, I sold my house, and I cast out my 401k. Wow. And wow. I'm, You're all in. I'm on it. Wow. <laughs> You're basically saying that for $100 each, they cost you what to make on average? Uh, 20 to 25. Okay, Landed. so you've got $75 to play with, and you're acquiring customers at what price? Right now, about $40. Whoa. What are you going to do with the $250,000? Well, actually, two-thirds of it's going to be going into additional inventory and about a third of it into additional marketing. Are you bringing the marketing in-house, or are you...? That's what our goal is. That's what we need some advice on. Uh, there are people that are extremely good at reducing customer acquisition costs. They're not inexpensive, but I think for what you're doing, you're going to definitely need one of them because that's how you're going to survive. But you're missing that piece right now. I'm out. Obviously, you've got a customer acquisition cost that's less than the margin on each shirt. And so the more cash you have for advertising, the more you can make. Yeah. But yet you want to put more into inventory. That money is more valuable for advertising Marketing. than it is for more SKUs for, and refreshing SKUs. Preach it, Mark. He and is so, so right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a challenge. So for those reasons, I'm out. I've learned a lot in the last couple of years about the clothing business, all really by happenstance, because I just decided I wanted to make the clothes that I was wearing on Shark Tank the last couple of years. And so many people have been asking me for the outfits I was wearing that I am already have my feet into that. And I just don't think it would be fair to you to take on another one. So I'm out. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lord. Guys, I do know the clothing business is cutthroat, uh, and I'm not willing at this point to put up the money, so I'm out. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, One shark left. Robert, what are you doing? I just want to say that, you know, I put everything on this company, and I just want to be here and make a deal. Yeah, I, I like it. The material's incredible, and, and the fit looks great. I love your story, Dan, how you came Thank to you. America. Thank you. I know a lot about this space. I made a couple investments that have done really well for me. Mm -hmm. One of them is Tipsy Elves. So I like the online strategy, and I think that the guys that I'm working with and the ladies can really help you do a better job online. I can't do it for 10%, and I know how risky it is. I'll give you the 250000 but I want 25%. Um... Robert, would you do um, $250,000 for 20%? No, I, I, I can't do it for 20 I, It's a lot of work. In my mind, I was going to go with 35%. Those are the words coming out of my mouth. And for some reason, I went to 25. I just feel I'm a quarter partner. Let's talk one day. Want to talk about it for like five seconds? Can you give us like no, five no, seconds? No, 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 this is okay. Okay, go. Go for it. This is the guy. Um, I accept your offer, Norman. Congratulations, oh. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Reaction ever. That's awesome, man. I'm gonna try this shirt. Congratulations, wow. guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't even know Meta could sew. <laughs> Next up is a product that began as an elementary school project. Sharks, I'm Cassidy Crowley. And I'm Lori Crowley, Cassidy's mom. And we're from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm seeking $50,000 in exchange for 50% of my company. Wow. Sharks, I love to create and invent. When I was seven years old, my baby sister, Emily, would always <laughs> plant her spear. <laughs> and my mom would always get worried that she might accidentally poke or stab her throat. So I wanted to create a product that eliminated that long and sharp design of a traditional spoon. So I invented the baby team. 
The baby tooth is a combination of a baby spoon and a teether all in one. The rectangular body makes it easy for babies to grasp and self-feed. The baby tooth is made of 100% soft silicone. There are no sharp edges, so it's gentle on baby's gums, and it works great for teething. Sharks, all parents know that babies love throwing their spoons on the floor. Well, we have a solution for this. Just put a pacifier clip around the baby tune oh, and whoa. attach it to the baby's shirt. No more baby spoons getting thrown on the floor. But wait, there's more. <laughs> what? The baby tune is made right here in the USA and it was designed and created by me. Huh. So sharks, who's ready to take a bite out of the baby tune? Together, Together we, we can, can bring, bring baby tunes to every baby, baby in the world. world. Wow, oh, nice. Wow. Good job, that Cassidy. Was great. Oh my gosh. So we have some samples we'd like to pass cool. out to you, sharks. <laughs> How old was Cassidy? I'm 10. She's 10. 10 going on 34. Oh, are we gonna eat? <laughs> <laughs> this one's for Lori. For That's for me? For Lori? Yep. Okay. Should I feed Lori? <laughs> <laughs> we brought from Hawaii, we have poi, which is a Hawaiian baby food. Oh. How did you come up with the design and what did you do to figure that out? So in first grade, I entered a local science fair when I was seven years old. Then we have actually my sample if you guys want to see it too right we here. We do. Oh, wow. It's so like that's a, your prototype? Yeah, this is the one that I made in first grade. Look at this. I mean, partially why I'm just very thankful I'm here is I want to show other kids that they can be open to opportunities they have at school or even at home to create an event. I just really hope I inspire them. It's a dream come true. So are you selling it already or is it? Yeah, we sell our products. So since September of 2018, we had $5,000 in sales. Wow. Thank you. What does it cost? Our total cost is $6.60. And, and you sell it for how much? We sell it for $15. 15 For you. Wow. Cassie, are you going to be a superstar at your school because you were on Shark Tank? Well, that's obviously not why I'm here. Oh, oh even oh, better oh, answer. Oh, my better God, answer. I love you. <laughs> Cassidy, it's pretty rare that somebody comes in here and offers us 50%. Why did you do that? I mean, let's face it, I'm only 10 years old. I need a partner. I mean, I still have to go to high school. I think you're more of a shark than we are. <laughs> Cassidy, you've done an amazing, amazing job. I mean, it's incredible. Thank you to have started a business, to develop a product, to see it through, to make your way here. I mean, just, I can't even imagine what's next for you. The Thank challenge you. I have is just, it's really not a fit for me. So I'm out, but great, great job, Cassidy. Cassidy, I've been doing little businesses since I was a kid. I can already tell from your presence, from your poise, from your grit that you're gonna go very, very far. This was three years ago and you didn't give up. You know, manufacturing can be very tricky. I find it fascinating that you push, pull this up. Well, actually, just recently, we had to change our durometer of silicone we're using, so we had to lower it. So you had to change like, what? Change the durometer of silicone. What's a durometer? Durometer is how you measure the firmness of silicone. For example, if you have something that's a higher durometer, who are you, silicone, lady? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> If you have something that's a higher durometer of silicone, it's going to be more stiff and hard. And if you have something that's a lower durometer of silicone, it's going to be more flexible. Cassie, do you have a patent on it? Yeah, we have our patents right here, actually. Wow. Cassidy, I am beyond impressed. I know you're not allowed to do this in the United States of America, but if in 20 years you want to marry one of my kids, <laughs> uh, I'd be very delighted. But in all seriousness, you're so impressive but don't understand the baby space, and for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you so much. Cassidy, I'm torn because I don't feel that you're willing to quit elementary school. I can go straight to college. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't want you to quit school. It's a little early. I'm out. Cassidy, this is a great product. You just absolutely blow me away. You said you always wanted to go on Shark Tank, and I'm so proud if we had any part in your wanting to become an entrepreneur. So guess what, young lady? I'm gonna make you an offer. Yeah. Because I have to be along with this journey. I'm giving you 50,000 for 50%. 
Wow. Laurie, you have a deal. Congratulations, guys. Yay. Yay. Oh my gosh, you. you are just amazing, amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Congrats, guys. Well done. Before you leave, come up here, sit in the shark chair. Oh, yes. That's where you're going. Let's see you. How does it feel? Yay. Cassidy, Cassidy. <laughs> Cassidy, look at Kevin and say, you're dead to me. <laughs> Congrats, Cassidy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my, oh my God. God. What's fascinating about Shark Tanks, I have four kids. My youngest is six years old, and she gets glued to the TV. It's a very engaging. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. First into the tank is a way for carnivores to eat a little healthier. Hi, Sharks. My name is Phil Wong, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Let's talk about how the sausage gets made. So many Americans want to eat less meat, whether it's for their health, for our planet, or for animal welfare. But it's no secret that most aren't ready to go vegetarian. So why are we stuck with an all or nothing choice when we go to the grocery store? We thought, why can't we put veggies and meat into a product that people would love? Well, sharks, that's where we come in. We're meeting in the middle. <laughs> Introducing Misfit Foods, a line of delicious sausages that are half chicken and half veggies and spices. Our three flavors will knock your socks off. And they're made with sustainability in mind, helping people eat less meat by putting more delicious food on the dinner table. Because we believe that change can taste good one link at a time. So sharks, don't miss out on this one. 250K for 5% of our company. Wow. Sharks, in front of you, we have our sausages prepared three different ways. The first is my favorite. It's our sweet potato andouille mac and cheese. Next, our kale chimichurri tacos. And last is a classic squash Italian on a bun with the fixings. Wow, the citrus kale is delicious. Thank you. I'm so glad Really you're good. Away. One thing that I noticed that I really like is that your sodium is lower than the typical chicken sausages that I buy. And the other thing too is that we have about 40% less cholesterol than your typical chicken sausage as well. And that's something that our consumers really care about. Phil, who's the market you're going after? Like, are you trying to get people that are meat eaters to eat less meat? Absolutely, and, and you know, I think the, the proof is kind of in the pudding. We're in our first full year in market right now, and we're on track for 1.2 million in sales. Wow. Wow. And so, you know, a good portion of those people are, are, are just, you know, your pure carnivores. What's your actual sales to date? So we've done just under 800K to date. How are you selling it, direct or through retail? We're about 20% brick and mortar, and that's Whole Foods, and 80% online. How did you come up with this? What's your background? So, you know, food's always been a really huge part of my life. I grew up in a family of immigrants, so my mom is from Indonesia, my dad is from Macau, and so my connection to Indonesia and Macau when I was growing up was through food. And when I got to college at Georgetown, I started learning more about just like how huge our environmental footprint is with our food. So I started wondering, was there a way to use delicious food to help the environment? And so I started Misfit in the kitchen that I was sharing with the six other guys that I was living with at the time. Really? Uh, yeah, they weren't too happy about it. And did you raise money to do this? Yeah, so we've raised $2 million to date. Hello. Wow. What? We're here to not hit a single or a double, right? We're here to hit a home run. So what was your last valuation of the company at? So the last valuation was $4 million. Well, we haven't, we haven't even talked about what it sells for and what it costs yet. So typically, we're selling for four thirteen dollars a unit to the grocery store. Our cost is about two ninety one dollars a unit. Okay, so that's your biggest challenge. And what, what do they, they sell, sell it for? What do they retail it And so at? they're retailing it for anywhere from $5.99 to $7.99 a unit. Now, our gross margins work out to about 29%. What's really important to know about that is that we hit break even in May of this year. And I think that points to the fact that we don't have to market this product a ton and you know spend a bunch on slotting fees, promotional fees to get people to buy this product. Are you spending money on marketing today? 
Very little. It's uh, less than 5% of our Good gross revenue. The refrigerated and frozen categories have eluded me in making a lot of money. I've made investments in it. It's burned up a lot of my hours, which is valuable to me. And I haven't really had a huge hit with it yet. Um, I'm out. I'm a vegetarian, and I think it's innovative. But I don't know if I believe in the trend. Mm. I, I think consumers want to go one way or another. Uh, you might be right, but I don't, I don't share that vision. I'm out. Thank you, Robert. So your valuation seems a little bit rich, Mr. Wonderful. Could you, like, soften him up for me? Well, soften him up. I would, <laughs> gladly, I would <laughs> gladly do that. I mean, you've obviously done multiple rounds at, at valuations lower than this. And then you come in the Shark Tank to get a premium investor and charge them a premium, which is not correct, because a shark brings value that an ordinary investor can't. Could you add shame on you? If you want to get an investor, you're going to have to take a haircut. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to give you $250,000 for 15%, and I'm, I'm thinking that's generous. Well, there's your first haircut. Man, I, I shaved my head like two weeks ago. I can't, I can't afford to yeah. lose any more of this. I think good product speaks for itself, right? It's going to sell. I do wonder if people will start knocking you off like crazy. I think it's so smart that I think you kind of have to race to the market. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to give you an offer. It's going to be a little bit sharkier. I'm going to go 250000 but. I'm gonna ask for 18%. Laurie, thank you for that offer. Okay, thank you, so Laurie. Let's, let's talk Phil, about let me this, ask, Phil. Let me ask a couple questions. Yeah. Do you think you have too many SKUs? Because that's a challenge, you know, trying to get just that much shelf space. Like for me, if I was a flexitarian, these would have, this would be too much, right? I'm not a curry guy and I'm not, citrus kale, maybe I'll try it. But if, you know, if, if it was, simpler. I just want a sausage, you know, where I can put it on a bun and eat it in a cookout and know it's healthier and lower calorie. Mark, you're so right. I mean, this is incredibly important for people to understand. Every time my team and I innovate and we come up with all these esoteric ideas, they're fun, but they will never beat the working horse. And many entrepreneurs are trying so hard to differentiate and they don't build that working horse. Are you willing to do just a workhorse product? I had no idea you were a chef, Mark. No I'm not idea. a chef, but I know how to dominate markets. Are you going to make an offer? Two sharks are out. Phil has offers on the table from Daniel and Lori for his half-chicken, half-veggie sausage company, Misfit Foods. But Mark may also be interested. Are you going to make an offer? Yes. So, do you want to try to do something together? Okay, so, how about 250,000 for 15% two, two sharks? Us. Never has happened before. This wow. Is just, this is the first time we're getting married. You're getting a haircut no matter what happens. So, Phil, that takes your valuation from five million you walked in with down to 1.6, but you get two sharks and a chef to tell you what to put in the sausage. And he'll write your meat. whole business plan. It doesn't <laughs> there you go. You and a guy, mentor who's done, to tell you what to do. who's done it every step on the way and who's guide, gonna guide you. You would be a fool not to walk out with one of these offers. Which shark or sharks do you want to go with? Gosh. I mean, I would be honored to officiate this wedding. Uh, the valuation is a little rich. I'm wondering if we could bring you two in at 300K for 15%. 300K for 15%? That's not crazy. I would do that. You got a deal. Done. Congratulations. <laughs> I would hug you, but we'd have to quarantine for two yeah, more weeks. Good job. Phil, we're really yes. excited to work with you. We, we're, we're very excited about you. Rush it. Thank you. Rush I'm, it. I'm, I'm so excited. Be, if we don't create a whole new category that just and dominate that category, I'll be really disappointed. We'll make it happen. Thank you, guys. Phil, Thank yeah, you. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow, that was not what I was expecting to happen. So we came out with both Daniel and Mark. 
I mean, both of those are like two huge business idols for me. And so I'm kind of fanboying right now. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a game changer for our business, that's for sure.